If you ever want to be thoroughly embarrassed, a great way to do it is to dig up your old blog or diary if you're older or if you weren't so technologically inclined six or seven years ago. I recently dug up my old live journal account and I literally cringed as I read it. I created my live journal account in 2004 when I was about 19 and during that time in my life, I was kind of crazy. I had red hair and while I wouldn't say that I was depressed or had low self-esteem, I was very bitter, very cynical and very emo, especially when it came to girls. About 90% of the entries in my live journal are about girls, mostly about how I couldn't get one. Now people always ask you what you'd say to your younger self if you ever met. Well in this video, I'm going to answer that question by responding directly to one of my old live journal posts. March 23rd, 2005. Girls are tricky. I think they know what they be doing too. They can get you to do anything and feel any way that they want with nothing but a word. With a word, they can get you to do something that you wouldn't do for anyone. With a word, a girl that you've completely given up on can give you hope again. Young Kevin, girls are not tricky. They're just different. But they're just as predictable as anybody else. A lot of adults don't even realize this though, so that's okay. Most humans have similar basic instincts and drives. Everyone is different, but when you break it down to the fundamental biological drive, humans are basically similar. Also, they don't know what they be doing. And I only just realized this myself, but girls are not evil, come to find out. That is to say, they don't make it their goal to ruin your life. Now, it does often happen that girls will make us miserable, but, get this, it's probably your fault. And you're saying that they could get you to do something that you wouldn't do for anyone? No, that's just you being a pushover. I just finished talking to Candace. Just to clarify, Candace was my ex-girlfriend. And at the time, we had sort of become friends again, but it was still kind of weird. Now, we'd later become really, really close friends, but this was before that. Candace thinks I should make it my business to find a girlfriend. And as I said to her, having a girlfriend is not essential to my contentment but I never dismissed the idea. Did you just say essential to my contentment? You pretentious asshole, you know good and well that you wanted a girlfriend. I just think it's ridiculous to go out and look for a girlfriend like it's a game, like I'm going fishing or something. These are people with feelings and lives. They're not fish in the sea. That metaphor is misleading and cliche. There are plenty of fish in the sea. What if none of the fish want your bait? What if you don't want any of those fish? What if the fish that you want is pregnant? Oh, young Kevin, you and your esoteric references. Basically, the girl who I had the biggest crush on at the time ended up getting pregnant. I wonder what she's up to. Anyway, young Kevin, if you want fish, but none of those fish want your bait, then change your bait or lose your desire for fish. That's how it works. I don't think Candace was telling you to go out and look for a girlfriend. She was telling you to stop ignoring what you obviously want in life. She was telling you to stop being a bitch and go talk to some girls. You can't compare girls to fish. You can't just go catch one. Now that I think of it, you have to be friends first. Candace was telling me, stop trying to be friends with girls. But don't you have to? You don't start out as boyfriend and girlfriend. Because if you do, your relationship is destined to fail. Young Kevin, Candace is right and you are wrong. This is why you're constantly in the friend zone. Relationships don't start with friendship. Relationships start with mutual romantic attraction. You have to make the girl attracted to you in a more than friends way from the very beginning or else you'll be in the friend zone every time. And if you're a thoughtful and compassionate boyfriend, only then will friendship begin to sprout in the already existing relationship. Anyway, I'm in college so it's likely that I'll meet a lot of friends. And if I make a lot of friends, it's only probable that at least one of them will share a mutual desire with me to be more than friends. In fact, it's very improbable, as you will see in the upcoming years. You're gonna make many, many friends in college, and lots of them are gonna be girls, and none of them are gonna wanna date you because you're a pussy. Life would probably be easier for me if I didn't feel the need to overanalyze everything. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Did you just make a Linkin Park reference? No wonder girls didn't like you. But thinking before you act is a good thing. And I'm telling you now, you're probably going to be a thinker for the rest of your life, so get used to it. You just have to be working off of a proper theory. If only I could have actually gotten that advice at the time. Knowing 19 year old me, I probably would have been stubborn and ignored it anyway. But seriously, take a look at your old blog posts. It'll be embarrassing, but it'll bring back a lot of memories. And if you're truly brave, make a video like this where you respond to one of your old embarrassing blog posts. Or you can just leave me a comment with one embarrassing thing that you found. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like my hair. Holla.